Hey there folks, Graham here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the third in a series of videos on the FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller from Behringer. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to program the FCB 1010 using one of the available software editors. So stick around, let's dive straight in. So in the first video in this series, I demonstrated myself controlling the Yamaha MODX 8 Plus synthesizer with my FCB 1010 foot controller. And then in the second video, I showed you the different software editors that are available to help with programming the foot controller. If you haven't seen either of those videos, then I suggest once you've watched this one, go back and have a quick look at them. But for now, let's get on with programming the foot controller. For this demo, I'm gonna be using the FCB 1010 PC editor. Personally, I find this one well laid out and very simple to use. The only downside is it only works on PC, so if you've got a Mac, you'd have to use one of the other software editors. But each of those editors pretty much works and does exactly the same as this one, so once you've watched this demo, you should easily be able to apply that to any of the other software editors that are out there. So to start with, here's the FCB 1010 PC editor. When you first load it up, there's a couple of things that you'll need to do to get things running. First of all, as mentioned in my previous video, you'll need to connect the FCB 1010 to your computer using MIDI cables. This will require either the use of a MIDI interface, or in my case, I've got the MIDI cables running into my audio interface, which has MIDI ins and outs on it, and therefore doubles as a MIDI interface. The audio interface is then connected to the computer, via a USB cable. The next thing you'll need to do is configure the settings in the PC editor. First of all, you'll need to set your MIDI settings. Click on MIDI and you'll get this pop-up box and then choose your MIDI interface, which in my case is my audio interface. So I shall choose the UMC 404 HD for MIDI in and MIDI out and then press OK. Then to check the connections are working, click on check firmware. When you click on this, the PC editor will communicate with the foot controller and come up with the current firmware version, in this case 2.5.1e. Now all that's in place and the foot controller is talking with the computer and conversing with the PC editor, you're ready to start programming the settings. Now for my setup, using the FCB 1010 to control the Yamaha MODX, I've got it set up to control various things. Up on the screen here, you can see a spreadsheet of all the different things that the foot controller is controlling and all the relevant values and data that you will need to program into the PC editor in order for everything to work. If you want to copy this setup, then I suggest taking a screenshot of this part of the video so that you can use it as reference later on. So now that we've got the PC editor set up and communicating with the foot controller and we know all the data that we need to enter, let's start programming. You choose the presets using the switches, pretty much the same as on the pedal board itself, one to 10, and you can scroll through the banks of presets using the up down keys. So we've got bank 00, bank 01, bank 02, etc. So let's choose bank 00, preset number one. So for this preset, what we want to happen is when we press button one on the foot controller, we want it to choose scene one of that performance that you're using on the MODX. And we want it to program the expression pedals so that the first pedal controls the super knob and the second pedal controls the modulation wheel. We're not using any program changes, so we'll turn this one off. We'll turn on the first control change and we'll set that to the value of 92, which is the CC number for scenes in the MODX. We'll then leave the value as zero, as this is the CC value for scene number one. Then we'll move across to the expression pedals. We'll turn both of these on. The first expression pedal will set to a value of 95, as that's the CC number for the super knob, and we'll set the minimum maximum values to zero and 127, as we want this pedal to operate over the full range of the super knob. And then for the modulation wheel on the second expression pedal, we'll put in a value of one as the CC number, and then again, the minimum values 
as 0 to 127. And that's everything for the first preset. That's the only things we want it to control. When we press it, we want it to A, choose scene 1, and we want the expression pedals to control the super knob on the mod wheel. Everything else should be turned off. If we then move on to preset 2 in the same bank, again, we don't want any program changes. Again, we want it to choose the scene, which is 92, but this time we want the value to be 16 because that's the CC value for scene number two on the MODX. Again, we'll then turn on the expression pedals. We'll set the first one as 95 and the second one as one as they're the CC numbers for the super knob and the modulation wheel. And then we'll make sure the minimum and maximum values are both set to 0 and 127. Again, we don't want anything turned on here. These are the only functions that we want it to perform when we press button number two. And that's pretty much how you program it. You continue going through these presets, putting in the relevant CC number and value, for the things that you want to control. If they're things that you don't want it to do, make sure they're all turned off. Make sure you've only got data entered and ticks next to or things switched on on the things that you want to operate when you press that preset button. The only different one here is what I'm using preset 10 for across all the banks, which is turning the arpeggiator switch on and off. For this, I'm using the foot switch functionality on the FCB 1010 foot controller. On the rear of the foot controller, there are two foot switch jack sockets, and I have one of these connected to the assignable foot switch on the back of the MODX. In the MODX, I have then assigned that foot switch to control the arpeggiator on off switch. So for preset number 10, if we jump to that, effectively what I've got is all the program changes turned off, all the control changes turned off. I've got the pedals set to 95 and number one with their values. So I'm controlling the super knob and the modulation wheel. But what I do in this preset and only in preset number 10, but across all of the banks, is I turn on the relay switch and you'll see SW1 come up here. This will mean that when I press this preset number 10 on the foot controller, it will operate whatever is assigned to the foot switch on the MODX. And then really, as I said, it's just a case of repeating this process through the PC editor, entering in the program changes, control changes, the expression pedal numbers and values etc. And as I say, only for number 10 in my setup am I actually using the foot switch functionality. So to speed things up a little bit, I've actually already programmed my FCB 1010 some time ago and from that created a sysx file. So if I go down to the bottom of the PC editor here where it says read sysx, click on that, it'll come up with a drop down box and I've got an MODX plus sysx file here. And if I open that, you'll see at the top, this changes to MODX plus dot SYX, which is the sysx file. And what you'll now see is all those values from the spreadsheet I showed you earlier have now been populated into here because I programmed them all earlier, then created the file. Now I've just loaded that file back in. So as you can see, under preset one, we've got the CC value of 92 and a value of zero to change the scene. And we've got 95 for the super knob and number one for the modulation wheel. On preset two, we've got 92 for the scene and 16, which is scene two. And then again, 95 for the super knob and one for the mod wheel. For number three, we've got 92 and a value of 33. Expression pedals are the same, etc. Through to number 10, where we have nothing going on except the expression pedals and the relay switch turned on, which is linked to the assignable foot switch, as we mentioned earlier. And then if I go to the second bank, you'll see again the scenes are 92 as we scroll through with different values. But this time for all of the presets, 
the controller value for the expression pedal is 64, which is the sustain. And in the third bank, or 0, 2, if I go through all the presets, the expression pedals are set to 74 and 71, which is the cutoff and resonance. And in the fourth bank, which is 0, 3, again, I've got the scene values, 92, and then the relevant values. But across all of the presets, I've got the expression pedals at 73 and 72, which is the attack and the release. Now that's everything programmed in the PC editor, we just need to send all that data across to the actual foot controller. To do this, we just go down to the bottom here where it says transmit sysx, click on that button and you'll get some instructions come up and basically follow these instructions. What you do is turn off your actual foot controller, hold the down button and turn it on and wait until it's booted up, then press the up button twice and then press number seven button which is the sysx receive button once you've done that just click ok on this dialog box and you'll see it transmitting the data and that it successfully transmitted the data to your device if you want to save all these settings so you can use them again at a later date if needed then just click on write sysx and it'll come up with a dialog box where you can name the file and decide where you want to save it. There's also other functions in the editor here where you can copy banks from one to another, copy presets, you can create a blank sysx file which effectively sets this back to all its sort of blank default values. There's a spreadsheet view which if I click on that like the spreadsheet I showed you earlier, which actually I'd made manually, you can actually create a spreadsheet here, which shows you all of the presets with what's turned on, what's turned off. So in preset one here, CC1 is turned on with a value of 92. Expression pedal A is turned on with a value of 95. Expression pedal B is turned on with a CC number of one, etc. And you can print that off for reference later or as we mentioned you can save it as a sysx file which you can just easily load in at a later date. Now that you've programmed all the data into the editor and sent it to your foot controller there's a few last things that you'll need to do to make sure that everything works together. Number one you need to make sure that the MIDI cable is running from the MIDI out of the FCB 1010 to the MIDI in of your MODX or whichever synthesizer you're using. And you'll then need to also run a quarter inch jack cable from the foot switch socket on the back of the FCB 1010 to the assignable foot switch socket on the back of the Yamaha MODX. You'll then need to go into the utility screen on the MODX and go to the MIDI settings and change the MIDI in out to MIDI as opposed to USB. In the MIDI section of the utility, you'll also need to make sure that the assignable foot switch is set to ARP SW, as that's the ARP switch. Now everything should work perfectly, and when you press the buttons or use the expression pedals on your FCB1010 foot controller, they should operate all the functions exactly as you've programmed them to do so on the Yamaha MODX8. Indeed, these instructions can pretty much be used to program the FCB1010 for almost any synthesizer. All you'll need to do is look up and change the necessary CC numbers and values for the synthesizer you're using. But to be honest, a lot of these numbers and values are common across many synthesizers. For example, 64 is normally the value for sustain, number one is normally the value for the modulation wheel, etc. So that's it. That's everything that you need to do in order to program the foot controller. It does make life a lot easier than programming manually. When you program it manually, it's a lot of foot switch presses which can be very laborious, time consuming and repetitive. However, with a software editor, you can program all those changes in one go and then just send them in one go to your foot controller and everything's ready to go. Last of all, what I'm going to do today is just take a very brief look at the other two software editors that I mentioned in my previous video, just to show you that these instructions pretty much apply to those as well, because they are very similar in the way that they work. First of all, let's take the FCB 1010 Manager from Mountain Utilities. 
once again we have the graphical representation of the pedal board and then we have a data entry section so you can see in here I've already loaded a file into here so I've got uh, preset number one on bank zero as 92 for the scene and then expression pedal A is 95 for the super knob expression pedal B is number one for the mod wheel and the values are 0 to 127 and all the program changes are turned off so it's exactly the same data just in a slightly different graphical format and then over here in this box we have the receive and send data buttons we have the global settings for setting up the MIDI connections etc we also have a, uh, a presets window which if I open that up yep there we go comes up with a list of all the presets in a sort of a spreadsheet format similar to what you could get from the PC editor so as you can see it pretty much operates exactly the same it just looks slightly different and as I mentioned in my previous video this editor is equally as good as the PC editor that we've just been using for this demonstration. This one is available for Mac as well as PC, but this one is not compatible if you've had the Uno chip upgrade on your foot controller. So last we'll look at the FCB Uno Control Center, which is the third of our available software editors. And as you can see, this one pretty much works the same. It looks similar but it has all the same data entry, the program change, the control change values, the expression pedals. So the data you put in is exactly the same as what we've demonstrated in this video. It just looks slightly different. This one does cover both PC and Mac, and this one does cover the Uno chip upgrade, as does the PC editor, but not the FCB 1010 manager from Mountain Utilities. The only difference with this last one, as mentioned in my previous videos, is this one isn't free. It costs around 24 euros. But that is it. That's really everything you need to know about how to program the FCB 1010 foot controller using a software editor. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell as it really does help me to grow the channel. And if you have any questions on anything that you've seen in this video, then please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to get back to each and every one of them. Indeed, if you just want to leave any comments at all, please feel free to do so as all feedback is greatly appreciated. But for now, that's it. I've been Graham. Take care and... Catch you later.